Okay, hi. Um, so today we're going to show you how to make a heat map in R. <clears throat> so this is assuming you already have um, some basics, um, basic knowledge of R and you've already installed it on your computer. You can get it both on Mac and PC. Um, so um, I have some sample data, so we're going to go through how to make a heat map. Um, so there's um, many kinds of heat maps you can make. The one we're going to do comes from the package called gplots. So in order to use that package, we need to first download it. So I'm going to install the package. Okay, so here we go. Install packages gplots. Download a package. Hmm. Maybe I'll start. Let's see again. No. So I guess it's downloading again. Uh, I might have already had it. That's why. Okay. So I just installed it. So if you want to check which packages you've ha installed already, you can check. So you should see it down here on the console. G plots, here we are. It's right here. And it doesn't need any compilation. You don't need to compile, so that's why it says no. Um, okay, and then um, a good thing to remember every time you want to use this package, G plots, you need to um, bring it up to, into your library. So you have to have this command library G plots. Um, every time you restart R Studio, you need to do this so that you have it ready to go. Um, and so I'll have a note here. So okay. And you can check what directory we directory we're in. I think we're in the right directory. Okay, so yeah. So there's two ways you can download your data. Um, you can either import the data set or you can do it by command line. Um, so I'll just do it that way. So x, x, x. Okay. <clears throat> That's the name of my file, and I'm going to do something called dot, um, check dot names to prevent my um, for, to prevent R from replacing the spaces in my row names um, with periods. So if I do it without and I check what it looks like, um, it's actually good. But sometimes um, they replace the spaces right here with periods. Uh, so you want to do check dot name in those situations. Um, okay. And um, so you can upload your data like this, or there's an easier way. Uh, you can do just upload it like normally. And you can tell it that you want the header to be saved. It's first column. They're not automatic. It's uh, either one. Okay, so just do it. Yeah. Um. So now we're gonna convert it to a data matrix. Okay. So now it's a data matrix, and now we can make the heat map. So heat map. Um, if you want to know um, what how to use this function, just have a question mark and heat map dot two. 
And right here, it will tell you how to use this. So it tells you what kind of uh, parameters it needs, um, what kind of colors you want to use. Yeah. And so now we're going to use it. Okay. Okay. So main is where you put your title. So title. Or whatever title you want. Uh, sample. And then trace. Trace, you'll see it's um, optional. We'll put, we'll just put none. Okay, and you can set the margins. So the margins are important. Um, I'm going to do 10, 12, because I know that's what works. I'll do margin of 10 and 12. Um, and something's wrong. Yeah. Okay. So here's your heat map. It's right here. Uh, as you can see, it doesn't. It's really scrunched up right here. Um, and it didn't keep the names of my species. So I think I need to upload the data again. So let me try that. Um, Okay, so this is the data. Okay. So now let me see if it works better this time. So zoom. No, I couldn't do it. Okay. Okay, that's good. It actually this time it saved my row names. So in the, um you probably just want to import data set, it's a lot easier. Um, so heat maps that two not genes. So now sorry, why? Okay. Okay, there we go. Now it has all the names. So it's still really hard to read. So I'm going to change the font size. So you can do that um, using C E X row. Okay, that's better. It's a little bit smaller. Mm. Let's try this one. So it's a lot of just trial and error, see what works uh, cosmetically. And there's a couple other functions you can change. So you can say, you can remove the dendrogram. So if you look, um, there's these, there's this clustering, um, sometimes you don't want clustering, so I'm going to remove clustering from the rows and columns. So I'll do v equals false. Okay, now there's no dendrograms. So. There's no clustering either. They go together. Um. Okay, so now what I just did was I removed the key. Um, I didn't want it there, so I just said key equals false, and so it takes away the color key and histogram. But it often gives you a warning, but don't worry about that. Um, so you also might want to personalize your colors. So that's a really good thing to know how to do. Um, by default, the colors are red and yellow. Um, and if you have the key up, tells you what each color means. 
So here, um, yellow was supposed to mean the highest percentages. Red was the lowest. So say I want to change it to something more um, friendly to those who are colorblind. So I'll do yellow and blue. So YB was just uh, a name I decided to designate my color palette. So color ramp palette. Uh, so I think it, this is in a library, so you may want to download this library here. Um, so color ramp palette. So I'm going to make a color palette. And you make a vector that consists of which colors you want to use. So here I want to use yellow as uh, an indicator for low percentages. And I want to use blue for high percentages. Okay. So now I can run the heat map command again. But this time, um, my color, it, that's actually call, call equals yb. And now it's uh, blue and yellow. Let's see. Um, and you can even designate um, like a middle color too, like white, if you want. So that might be a little bit more attractive. Uh, and um, there's actually, if you look online, if you look up color palettes in R, there's lots of different kinds of color names you can choose from. Um, I don't know if I have any good examples. But I think you can do like dark blue. I think that works. Yeah, so you get a darker blue. There's many colors to choose from. And so once you make your heat map, um, and you've modified it in all the ways you like, um, take away the key. Maybe have a better title, I don't know. Okay. Um, then you want to export. So you can either save as an image, um, or you can save as a PDF. Okay. Yeah, so here it is, and that's how you make your heat map.